Hello, this is Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. And right now, I'm on vacation at Universal Studios. This here is Islands of Illusion. And, or is it Islands of, Islands of Adventure, sorry. I always get it wrong. But this is one of the two parks out there. But what I wanted to do in this video is actually give you a couple of tips for if you're going to be coming out to this park or Universal Studios in general. No, this isn't going to turn into one of those travel vlogs. But I felt I'd give advice, and so I'm going to give you a little advice on doing one of these parks. First off, it's really helpful to stay at the hotels on property. Why? Because you can get in an hour early before anybody else. You bring your hotel keys, and you can get into all of the Harry Potter stuff early. And you want to do that. We checked a line at one of the Harry Potter rides, Escape from Greenworts, I believe, and it was a 300 minute wait today. And today is just a regular weekday. But that's another key. Go during the week. If you're not used to going to theme parks in general, they're always busy on the weekends. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because people like to do this one day off of work and take the weekend. But if you can find a way to go out on a Monday and a Tuesday and a Wednesday, you're going to have a much less crowded three-day trip. Their express passes are good, but if you have enough time to do the parks, you don't need them. And I mean either of them, Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. There's a lot of things that have what they call single rider lines. Single rider lines allow you to just go on in and you aren't guaranteed to ride with the person that you're with. But if you think about it, lots of roller coasters have two spots. You can be with a group of 20 people. You can't ride with 20 people at a time and you're not gonna be talking to everybody while you're on the ride. Get on in there, do your loop-de-loops, have a good time. Go grab a Coke, right? Uh, on Cokes, they have the Coca-Cola freestyle machines all over. If you're someone who's going to want to keep a drink in your hand at all times, that's a good way to go, As far as, especially if you want caffeine or something like Powerade. But if you just want to stay hydrated, you can get free water from almost any food stand. You just ask for it. Just, yeah, free water cups, please. Boom. They'll give them to you. Because you want to stay hydrated. That's really, really key in Florida. Stay hydrated. Otherwise, you start getting sick. It, it'll, ruin a, it'll ruin a night really easily. But in general, Universal Studios is going to be the less crowded park. I think it's just because people think of the other as the more exciting one. And it's got more Harry Potter stuff at the moment. But if you give yourself two or three days, you can get through everything without a fast pass or express pass. Not saying that they're not helpful, but with single riders and some of these rides in general, it's unnecessary. Another thing is when you're here, you'll notice the ride queues, they could stay anywhere between, you know, 20 minutes to an hour and a half. And often it's half the time. We got on a ride that said it was 70 minutes for the Fast and the Furious ride. It was over. We were in line on the thing by 40 minutes after. You know, it wasn't so bad for a major theme park. Meals? Here's a real trick. Don't worry about eating in the park. There is a whole other section that connects the two parks. It's a, it's a whole shopping and eating district. They have regular restaurants there. And the thing is, is that the prices at the regular restaurants are no higher than the prices at a place in park. You can pay $15.65 for a lame little ham sandwich and some chips, one drink. Or you can pay $15 or $16 for a great big double cheeseburger or something at Margaritaville or one of the restaurants. There's even a Burger King out there. You just got to walk out of the park, which a lot of people don't do because they think, oh, well, I'm here at the park. I don't want to leave. Yeah, take, take the 10 minutes and save yourself the hour-long wait in line for a fast service meal. Really not worth it really really not worth it but you know if you want to know anything else about these parks and you know shoot me a comment you know if you're if you're going down and you want to have a little a little of my perspective i know i'm not the vacation guru i am the streaming advisor and we'll be back with more streaming videos next week but i just wanted to share this with you have fun be safe and stream on my friends